Digest, we sell not just your lakeweed mitigation products, but we sell a lot of different options so that you can truly enjoy your waterfront. One of our very popular options is your PWC or jet ski lift. And we have a whole series of them that we have on display here with Wave Armor. And we have all of these in stock, folks. Mike, it looks like we literally have a port for any type of watercraft out there. Am we I right? We really do. We so take really a minute do. and just share a little bit about those options because you don't need okay. too much port or too little port. Nope. You need the nope. right port. You need for the, the right job. port. You yep. need the right port. Now, this is what they call the Evo 6. This is six feet wide, 14 foot four long. The buoyancy on this will take up to 2,000 pounds. Wow. Okay, now we have the, the unit that's smaller than this is what they call the EVO 5, and that's five feet wide, and that one's got a buoyancy rating of 1,800 pounds. Now the difference between what you want an EVO 6 for versus the EVO 5, it gives you the real estate to get off your personal watercraft and be able to put your cover on, wipe it down, right. whatever you need to do with a six foot wide. Fantastic, so this is a great way to load up, load off, gas up, gear up, cover up. Yep. And I'll talk a little bit further about that. We mentioned this here, that this was our, our EVO 6 series, and this comes in EVO 6 and EVO 5. It's five feet wide or six feet wide. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. This is the one next to it, it's called the SLX 6. And it's the SLX 6 and SLX 5. Um, this will take your smaller personal watercrafts up to 12 foot eight in length. Um, would handle the majority of your PWCs. This has been very popular in the industry. And the one right next to that is what they call the EVO Sport. And that's made for your uh, Sea-Doo Sparks and your Yamaha EX series. Yep. Okay, the weight capacity on this is only 700 pounds. What do we have for the fishermen? Brand new for 2019, we have our brand new EVO 7. And our, and our brand new EVO 7 port is designed for that style boat and also for the new Yamaha jet boats. So what's the capacity on the one that we see here for weight? This particular one is called the EVO 7-16, which represents a 16 foot 11 long. This capacity on this one here is 2,600 pound capacity. Wow. Uh, we also have the ability to add on additional buoyancy boosters to the width of it if you want to down the line. So, um, so just as easily as you would jump up onto our jet ski PWC ports, you're telling me that the boats that we were just next to can hop up on this and boom, you're on and off you absolutely. go. Absolutely, run in the house, have a sandwich, <laughs> back on the lake in no time flat. So what do we have in front of us? What is this right here, This Mike? is what they call the SLX-10. Now, this is the two-piece unit. This is rated for up to a 4,900-pound boat. Wow. Okay. We can extend these things out to go roughly about, um, well, the longest unit we've done so far is for a 28-foot boat. Fantastic. And that'll be a three-piece unit. It'll take 7,900 pounds. So we have numerous different designs, and we can attach to anybody's dock. It doesn't okay. need to be a Wave Armor floating dock. It right. can be anybody's floating dock. But we have our bracket that's in here right now for the Wave Armor floating dock. We we also have ones for these anybody else's floating dock. Sure. We also have them for uh, what we would definitely use here would be just a two posts. We'd drive two posts in the front of the ports and use a Z bracket to attach to a standard dock. Great. Okay. okay. So there is not an application out there that we can't accomplish. So whether you have it as a standalone. Yes. Or you have it connected to a fixed dock. Yes. Or you go full board and you get a full wave armor system. There's always going to be a real integrated, real rigid way that that port will actually be set up. Is Absolutely, that right? Absolutely, that's correct. You know, I think I heard of somebody that actually kept their system in the water, they winterized the jet ski, covered it up, and left it there all Absolutely. winter. Absolutely. Is that Absolutely. crazy? Or it's can crazy. That... We can do that. <laughs> it depends on your water conditions. Absolutely. If yeah. you're not going to have the ice damming and coming up and tearing your shoreline up, these can freeze right in. It's not going to hurt them at all. So you might put this dock in once. Right. Yep. Wow, and you're that's not going to pay for all of the insulation or the tear out every year. That's huge. Um, but we'll take a look at those applications. We don't warranty against this, but yep. we're just telling you that you possibly can do that in some applications. Mike, tell us a little bit about you know what we're looking at here. This is really cool. This is brand new for 2019. This is our new spiral staircase or our new steps that go into the front of the under the front of the boat. You basically can lock in to go left or right, however you want to do it. And if you've got your boat up here and your, your front of your boat is standing up four and a half feet, you need to get up on that. You can literally walk up and get all the way up in front of your boat. So at Wieners Digest and Wave Armor, we have literally every accessory that you could ever possibly need for your adult Lego, I mean Wave Armor floating dock system. <music>